were your parents always supportive? Because there's somebody who's watching this program and, you know, they, they, they know that they want to step out on their own, but they're so afraid to go and tell mom or dad or whoever it is that, you know, really takes care of them and loves them that they have this big idea and they want to step out on their own. What's your right. advice to them? And, and again, were your parents always supportive in that way? Well, my parents were supportive, but here's the thing that here's the part that I didn't say. Remember, I said that out loud without knowing whether or not they were going to be supportive. So you've got to get to the point where you're going to be able to go and walk into whatever it is that you're going to go and do with or without the support of your immediate family or people around you. It does make it easier when your family supports you. Now, if you have a family yourself and you're taking care of people, those concerns can be and are like really like legitimate. Um, the fear of, you know, the income and everything else like that. So you do have to be considerate that way. But you also have to be to a point where even if the people around me don't support my idea and what I'm doing, that like that's just not going to kill the dream. And uh, so just know that for the person out there who is thinking about doing this and they are scared about what the parents are going to say to them. First off, um, perhaps you're not ready just yet to start out because you do, there's something inside, there's something about being an entrepreneur that you don't find out until you actually are doing it. And if you're scared to tell your parents about going off and doing something that you're really passionate about. And, and again, let's keep in mind that you have a plan. You've been making income. You've been preparing for this. So you're ready to go, but you're scared to tell people this when you're an entrepreneur it's 10 times worse that fear, because oftentimes I feel like I'm out in the middle of the seat on an inner tube by myself. And then when you start to hire people, people around you, then you have their life in that boat too with you. And then it's just like, you have this, you carry that with you. So you've got to be, so, so you've got to have a, a, enough toughness inside of you to be like, all right, this is what I'm going to go ahead and do because um, your business is going to demand that toughness once you step out on faith and do that. Um, now, the other part of that is listening to sound advice and to feedback. There's nothing wrong with that. But again, if it's sound feedback and things about like, you know, like what you should be thinking about, great. But if you're going to be wishy-washy and with every single like negative thing that comes your way, you're going to be doing this, then perhaps you're just not ready just yet because that's going to be it all along. The last thing I'll say on this topic is this is the way that I operate. I said to my family and stuff like that. I told my family that, but my friends didn't really know. My friends didn't know, and I have really close friends. They didn't know I was doing that stuff. They kind of found out in social media, you know, by just by following me and by following bodybuilding.com. That's when my friends were finding out about it. In fact, when I started to write for them, because it's such a huge blog, I said, put my last name as Alexander, because I don't want my close friends to laugh at me because I'm trying to, like, lose weight and doing all this stuff. Alexander is my middle name. And so they're like, okay. So my brother even wrote me, what is this, Kevin Alexander? Were you scared to be ashamed of the family or something? And I was like, no, it's just I just didn't want to get ribbed by friends and family. Um, and so, and so, uh, you know, that's just really important for you to kind of think about as, um, as you're moving forward with it. So, got you. Good stuff there. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.